Hi, I'm Niall. Today we're taking a look at a Benetton Antares 1080. Um, it's a 35 foot long sports fishing boat essentially. Um, the boat is in fantastic condition. She is fitted with a pair of Volvo KAMD 44 uh, shaft drive engines. She's got a really good spec including the Furuno GPS, Furuno radar system. She's got um, the onboard um, cooker fresh water system. She's got twin cabins, um, so sleeping accommodation for four people in two cabins. Um, it's got a really well appointed heads compartment. She's got a great little uh, flybridge up there as well. Um, lovely big aft cockpit and it's uh, just a really good coastal cruising boat. Um, it's really well set up for fishing. Um, so if you, if you like to go out with your mates during the week or whatever in the evenings and catch fish and still have the ability to go cruising with your family at the weekend then this Antares 1080 is a really good crossover boat so what we're going to do is I'll take you a walk through the boat show you all the features on board and uh, you can hopefully get a good idea of the condition that this one's in another thing is the boat is currently sitting at the owners one of the owners properties which is a beautiful place I might add it's um, lovely scenery and, and it shows how well he looks after his, uh, his, uh, his stuff and the, the boat's no exception, but it may, the, the boat is sitting on the hard. It's on a custom made trailer that the owner has had made for the boat whenever he bought it brand new. Um, so we can take a really close look at the at the hull and the stern gear um, while, she's, while she's sitting on the hard. So just going to walk you around the, uh, the outside of the boat here and give you a good close look at the, at the stern gear. So the boat does need the anodes replaced at the minute. They're not too bad, but they would definitely need replaced. Um, before the start of the season and we've just got one missing here on the rudder but there's no signs of uh, corrosion on the shaft or anything both shafts are perfect the propellers are both in very good condition you'll notice that there's rope, there's rope cutters installed on the prop shafts there as well um, just looking underneath the, at the across the transom we've got two big trim tabs here which again are all in, both in very good condition anodes are present the hull itself is uh, immaculately clean. It looks like it's been recently antifoid. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very good condition. It's unusual to get a boat of this size out of the water and so well presented. So I thought we'd take advantage of it and have a good look around it where we can. The trailer is available um, by separate negotiation with the owner. The owner had the trailer made whenever he bought the boat, um, just for moving it from the uh, from the local pier up to his property here. The, the boat's always been stored here. Um, it's tucked up. It's sheltered from the elements in against this building, and uh, it's been very well looked after. So we'll hop up on board and take a, a good look around the boat now, inside. We've got a nice wide uh, swim platform uh, laid in teak across the transom of the boat. We've got a four step uh, stainless steel boarding ladder there as well, swim ladder. And then we've got access into the cockpit through a large transom door, which is a locking transom door. So the cockpit itself is a huge big space, ideal for fishing off. Similarly, you can set up deck chairs and things out here and sit and soak up the rays. We've got an occasional seat we can fold up across the transom. And uh, one of the really good things about this boat is it has acres of storage underneath the, uh, the aft cockpit. So we've got two sort of large laserette compartments on the port and starboard side. Um, there's tanks and things in there, but also there's storage space and there's access into the stern gear too, which is very good. Uh, feature if you're caught out with a, a steering failure in an emergency. We've also got a, a this is a dedicated uh, life raft storage area. The owner's obviously using it for odds and ends there at the minute, but um, again, really good, easy access storage space. We've got a, a short overhang uh, with, on the flybridge, um, which gives you a bit of shelter around the, uh, around the entrance into the, the main saloon. Um, just before we go into the saloon, point out we've got a, a, a freshwater shower here 
We've also got a gas bottle stores in here, and we've got a, an emergency build, build pump, manual build pump, um, on the uh, on the port side buttress there as well. Access into the cabin is through this uh, three panel sliding door, so it opens up really wide and uh, really gives a nice airy feeling to the to the saloon. Access up onto the flybridge is through this opening uh, deck hatch here. So whenever you're up here, you can close this down for added security, uh, and it's also sealed so you don't get any drips or anything uh, downstairs. So the flybridge layout is we've got a helm seat and a passenger seat, both of which swivel and rotate. They're, they're cushioned as well, and we've got a, a, a sun lounger on the on the starboard side there. Um, the cushions for that aren't, aren't on at the minute, but there is a set of cushions for the sun lounger too. The helm position up here is very command and it's centrally located in the boat. We've got a repeater for the speed and depth log up here. We've got our engine controls. We've got controls for the anchor windlass, the hoard, and we've also got our, our main engine instruments here as well, along with a warning buzzer repeated up here. So it's obviously very comfortable and easy to, to helm the boat from up here. And you get excellent visibility all the way around the boat, which is perfect if you're picking your way through um, Marine boys or pots or lines uh, and also whenever you come in to, to dock the boat um, it's fantastic to be able to have really really clear visibility all the way around the boat right down to the, the, the transom line as well so it's just it's an added dimension to this boat which is great whenever you're out fishing or just cruising underway you get that wind in your hair experience the saloon really maximizes the, the use of space in here on the port side we've got a, a large uh, wrap around u-shaped seating area around a, a nice big table um, fully upholstered nice deep cushions we've got storage then behind that as well um, there's loads of storage all the way through the boat dedicated drink storage and other storage compartments there on the starboard side then we've got a, a large galley unit with an integrated uh, marine cooker a nice deep uh, stainless steel sink. We've got a refrigerator just here at the door on the way in, and then we've got additional um, st storage throughout the throughout the unit. One of the really good things about this is whenever you're not using the cooker or the sink, you can close the top cover over, and then you've got a nice long countertop area. Whether you're reading charts or you're working at uh, preparing bait or whatever, you know, get a nice big area for doing that. You'll notice that the condition of everything in here is really very good. The the woodwork is is uh, spotless. The carpets, you'll you'll notice in the carpets, carpets are in pretty good condition, but the owner's put down like over mats and he's used double sided sticky tape to put those in position. We've we've taken those out for today to show you the, the boat in sort of his, uh, her original condition, but that's what you can see on there. If it was my boat, I would probably replace those carpets, but apart from that, everything else is, uh, is in top-notch condition here. We've still got the original curtains all the way around. It's a really bright and airy saloon. Um, got nice large windows the whole way around the, around the saloon area. And with that triple folding door and the, the flybridge ladder arrangement, it means that you get lots of light coming into the saloon, and it's a really nice place to spend time. Coming forward again then, we've got a, a twin wide passenger seat, forward facing passenger seat um, on the port side with, uh, we've got a, a chart storage area here, chart table area and we've got uh, excellent cubby holes for storage um, and recessed into the, uh, the side there as well and then on the starboard side we've got uh, our helm position which we'll take a close look at now. The helm position is very uh, practically laid out. We've got a beautiful mahogany steering wheel, um, which falls easily to hand. We've got a good uh, secure helm seat as well, and uh, and then we've got all our instrumentation sort of sitting front and centre here. We've got a full range of Volvo gauges. As I said, the the boat's fitted with a pair of Volvo KAMD 44 uh, shaft drive engines. Um, the port engine has uh, just over 540 hours on it. The starboard engine is just under 540 hours. So um, the, it's a 2000 boat. So over the course of the last 12 years, um, it averages out to you know, less than sort of 50 hours a year, which is 
it's pretty good use. It's not not a lot of use, but it's good. It means that the the boat's been uh, run every season, uh, put through its paces, and obviously you know used and maintained properly. Um, we've got a Furuno uh, GP 1650F uh, chart plotter, and we've also got a Furuno radar unit as well. One other thing to point out: this is um, because it's a 2000 boat. It has the Volvo Penta EDC control system, so it's electronic, it's fly-by-wire throttles uh, and, and electronic engine controls, which um, really do offer a level of sophistication above and beyond your, your typical mechanical uh, controls, mechanical engines. Um, and also you get better horsepower from the engines, smoother running, better performance. Uh, and the boat runs really well on the water. Unfortunately, because it's sitting on the hard here today, we can't run the engines up. Um, but we have um, done some service work on this boat in the past. Uh, most recent was, I think, in September of 2012. And at that time, I was out on board. Um, we ran the boat up to uh, up to full speed as a performance test thing after a job we did and put her through her paces. And I can say that the boat is starting and running extremely well. Um, and she could be made available for, for water tests without any, uh, any problems whatsoever. The beauty of her sitting on the hard is that if you are interested in the boat and you want to get a really close look at it or get the boat surveyed and inspected, then it's really easy to do while she's sitting here. Um, and then if you're happy to proceed to the next level, we can get the boat launched um, and run her up on the, on the water. Just at my right hand here, we've got the, our 12 volt and 240 volt um, control panels here. We've also got a, um, some switch gear here for windscreen wipers, anchor windlass horn blower motors all that type of thing um, we've got the fuel level gauges and water level gauges uh, down here as well we see that both tanks are sitting full which again is a sign that the owners obviously winter in the boat properly is keeping the tanks topped off so that they won't get any condensation in the fuel over the winter um, the boat was winterized properly at the end of last season and it, uh, it hasn't been launched yet so far this season just before we move forward to take a look um, at the uh, cabin accommodation on the boat. Um, should point out that I've I've literally just filmed uh, a segment of the of the the guest cabin or the the second cabin, um, and uh, I've realised I had the sound switched off on the camera. So you'll what what's going to follow now is a silent video. Unfortunately, I can't do it again because the owner had a bunch of stuff in the forward cabin, life jackets and fenders and things, which we've now moved into the aft cabin. And to save us having to do all that again, it's getting late on a Friday evening. I'm just going to show you the, the silent video of the of the, the second cabin and then we'll cut to a, 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 a commentated tour of the, the forward cabin and the rest of the accommodations downstairs, the heads compartment and things. You'll notice down there, everything, that part of the boat has been virtually unused. The owner uh, has told me he's never actually slept on board. He used it as a day boat primarily for a bit of fishing and a bit of cruising around the, the coast of North Donegal here. Um, so the, the beds have never been slept in. The cabins haven't really been used, and that that shows. You know that they're in, they're in pristine condition. The 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 cabinetry down there, the, the mattresses, the whole boat I should say is completely bone dry, um, and there's no signs of mildew or mold or or any of the sort of signs of uh, of neglect that you sometimes see um, on uh, on older boats. This one is really really in top notch condition. So have a look around the uh, to the cabin accommodations and then we'll we'll uh, we'll have a sum up The forward master cabin has an uh, an island double up the uh, centre line of the hull, and then we've got lots of storage in here. On either side, we've got hanging lockers, additional 
cupboards and shelving. We've got reading lights uh, and a vanity mirror over the head of the bed. And we've got a couple of opening port lights in here and also a large uh, deck light overhead. We've also got ensuite access into the heads from the master cabin. So you don't have to disturb your guests if you have to use the facilities in the middle of the night. There's really good space at the end of the bed, uh, good floor space. So there's plenty of standing room for getting changed and things in here. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's really good master cabin for, for this size of boat. The heads compartment is off the starboard side of the companionway. We've got a big vanity unit here with a sink pressurized water system. We've got uh, cupboards above and below counter level. And then we've got a, a sort of separate enclosed uh, the actual heads compartment. This doubles up as a shower compartment as well. We've got a fixed shower here. The whole compartment is fully lined, drains through the teak grate in the floor. We've got service access in uh, to the, the, the water heater, chlorifier, things like that in there. We've got a couple of opening port lights in here so that it's nice and bright. Um, and we've also got um, little curtains to cover those in for, for privacy if you're in the harbour. As you can see, everything in here is in very good condition, like the rest of the boat. Everything's operational um, and uh, yeah, it shows all the signs of having been little used. It stacks up with what the owner's been telling me. So there you have it, this is our 2000 uh, Beneteau Antares 1080 with a pair of Volvo KMD44 uh, shaft drive engines. The boat's got 540 hours on the clock, it's in super condition, it's got really good spec including an anchor windlass, uh, GPS, Veruno GPS, Veruno radar, screen demisters, uh, marine cooker and hob, um, transom shower, there, there's too much to, to list but it, it's a really good boat well set up for coastal cruising um, and also it's a it's a really good fishing platform as well so I think it represents just a great crossover boat between something that you can um, comfortably cruise around the coast with with your family on board there's enough sleeping accommodation for four people in two cabins and also a, like an occasional berth up here too um, and uh, and it's at the same time it's a, it's a serious uh, offshore fishing machine as well um, so the Antares 1080 has always been a popular boat um, for those reasons because it's such a broad appeal. Uh, this one's in very good condition. I think it represents fantastic value for money. You can tell, I think, um, even from the location of where the boat's at, that the owner is a particular guy and he's looked after the boat well. It's been uh, one owner from you. He has all the paperwork um, that's required with the boat, the CE certification, the original bill of sale, the original uh, VAT invoice, the boat's VAT paid. Um, and it's um, yeah, it's got a lot going for it. It's a really st straightforward, uh, clean example, um, and she will uh, stand up well to any survey or inspection or sea trial. Um, I've been on the boat personally, although we can't run the boat today. I can hand in my heart say that um, we were out, I was out personally on the boat in September of 2012. Uh, the boat was running extremely well. I helmed the boat myself, and um, I can uh, more than happy. Uh, to sell this boat and uh, I'm confident that she's going to give her next owners many years of trouble free use. So if you've got any questions about the boat or you want to arrange to come and have a look at it up here in Donegal um, in the north, uh, north coast of Ireland please don't hesitate to give me a call um, or, or drop me an email. Um, bear in mind we can also help you with all your transport arrangements if you want to transport the boat to mainland UK or further through Europe we can uh, help to arrange that uh, and uh, take care of the whole uh, sale process for you. So again, thank you for watching and uh, speak to you again soon.